Hi, this is The Business Guy. I'm the CEO of Lawyers Limited, the nation's largest asset protection firm. And today we're going to talk about something that most attorneys are too afraid to talk about. The reason they're afraid to talk about this and why it remains a mystery to so many people is because what we're going to talk about today will keep your money in your pocket and out of the pockets of members of their profession. That is, how to hide money legally from creditors or your soon-to-be ex-spouse. And this includes not only your bank account, but your real estate, including your home and real estate investments, your stock market investments. And when you watch to the end, you'll know exactly what to do step-by-step step to keep these things you've worked so hard for out of the hands of creditors, lawsuits, divorce, and predators who want to make your assets their assets. You work hard for your money. So if somebody wants to come into your world and take it away from you, we're going to make them work a lot harder. In fact, so hard that the task of taking your money is nearly impossible. First and foremost, you must know that yes, there are ways that you can hide your assets from creditors, divorce, and lawsuits, and you can do it legally, and here's how. But first, I need your help. If you're watching this on YouTube, please click the like button below so YouTube will promote this video. Thank you so much. Share this video with others who need it, and please join our community by clicking the subscribe button and notification bell below so that when more videos come out like this, you'll be up to date right away. Now keep in mind when it comes to hiding your assets, you need to take this action early to avoid the suspicion of defrauding a creditor. In other words, it's best to act as soon as possible. And yes, there are ways to protect yourself after the fact. However, don't wait until your opponent asks the judge to freeze your assets in the middle of a lawsuit before you decide to transfer them to a trust or other asset protection entity. Then it would be too late. To give you a little background, I've been in the asset protection field since 1991, so over 30 years now, and our company started in 1906. We have full-time attorneys on staff, and I believe we currently have over 70,000 clients in our database. So feel free to call us for a free consultation. So now we'll talk about how to move your assets legally and how to keep them safe. Just to be clear, this organization uses several different techniques. Some hide assets, others actually protect assets. What's hidden can be found, but what you actually protect, even if somebody finds it, is still protected. And we think that's what most people people really want is asset protection. Many people search the internet or YouTube using the word hide, and that's what may have led you here. So since that is what people search for, that is the main reason we use both the words protect and hide in this video. So let's talk about options. So to hide or protect your assets from lawsuits and creditors, there are a couple of obvious options for you. For your personal assets, such as your home, you can hide your ownership in a land trust. We've established thousands of land trusts. and your cards, you can hide them in title holding trusts. Now, these documents can keep your association with these items out of the public records. There are several types of domestic trusts discussed in detail on our website. In addition, you can still legally protect your assets from a court judgment. However, if you try to hide or protect your assets within your own jurisdiction, such as the U.S., results-oriented judges can use any number of theories of legal liability in order to penetrate just about anything under that judge's jurisdiction. Jurisdiction. U.S. LLCs, U.S. Asset Protection Trusts. Hey, we set them up, but they've all been penetrated time and time again. Hey, I've been in the asset protection for 30 years, so I've seen it all. So to get the most effective asset protection, you must be willing to use international asset protection strategies that put your assets beyond the reach of the local courts. And you can do that very safely and securely because if you do a Google search, you will see that the safest banks in the world are outside countries such as the United States, not inside. The U.S. banking industry, many political forces, as well as many self-serving legal associations, have very carefully planted thoughts in the heads of many Americans to scare them away from international banking. But do you want to know the real truth and what the data shows? Watch our video on offshore banking and you'll see for yourself. Of the top 50 banks in the world, only one major national U.S. bank is on the list, and it's in last place, 50 out of 50. So lawyers limited personnel have connections with the safest banks in the world to secure your assets and help put your assets in a safer place. You have online access, a debit card to buy groceries, the ability to make remote secure wire transfers, do stock market investments yourself online. But just a bank account alone is not enough because a judge can just force you to bring it back. So to really protect yourself, your account has to be in the proper legal tools as well. 
Each offshore jurisdiction is a sovereign country. Many have asset protection laws that give you a huge advantage when you set up a foreign asset protection trust and offshore LLC. So establishing an offshore LLC that an offshore asset protection trust owns may be one of your only ways you can protect yourself from a court judgment in the US, UK, EU, Australia, or other jurisdiction. And the reason is this. Our international law firm that acts as trust company resides outside of the jurisdiction of the US court. Courts. Therefore, they are not subject to U.S. court orders. Demands to repatriate funds fall on deaf ears. The trustees are reputable, licensed, bonded, insured international law firms with long-standing track records for safeguarding of assets. Inside of the offshore trust, we place an international LLC. You hold bank accounts in the name of the LLC. You are the manager of the LLC and the signature on all bank accounts until you need our law firm to step in to protect you. Offshore jurisdictions and countries where we set up asset protection trusts like the Cook Islands, Nevis, or Belize have incredibly strong asset protection legislation. All of these jurisdictions continuously strengthen their laws. They have tightened regulations regarding setting up, administering, and protecting various asset protection vehicles established on their shores. By the way, look up the least corrupt, most trustworthy jurisdictions in the world. New Zealand is tied with Denmark as the safest. Guess what country the Cook Islands is part of? New Zealand. Now your creditor may find out about your offshore trust or LLC during the judgment debtor exam, but that's okay because as long as it's set up properly and in the right offshore jurisdiction, such as the ones we utilize, you can rent a billboard outside the window of your opponent's law firm and list all of your assets in full public view and your assets still remain outside the reach of your creditors. If you want more information, call us or fill out a free consultation form on our website listed below. You can also give them BG for business guy, BG25 for $25 off a corporation or LLC, or BG100 for $100 off an asset protection trust just for watching this video. Now, what about real estate asset protection? To hide real estate ownership, as we said, we set up land trusts. Someone searches your name in the county recorder's office and they see nothing with your name on it. Then for real estate investments, we stick the land trust inside of an LLC for asset protection and lawsuit protection. Your home, your personal residence, is in a different tax category, so we'll typically put your home into a land trust without an LLC. Finally, we use equity stripping strategies to strip out the equity from your real estate. We record mortgages initially payable to the LLC inside of your asset protection trust. Then we can immediately have an offshore lender purchase those mortgage and place the funds into an inaccessible account in your offshore trust if needed. So we have a third party lender who gets involved when necessary. So that's real estate asset protection. Call us for more information. Now, if you own a business, it would usually be wise to establish a business entity such as a corporation or LLC. Corporations and limited liability companies act as barriers between your business life and your personal life. They provide protection that sole proprietorships or partnerships do not offer. That this organization has expertise in setting those up as well. So if you own business assets and you have not yet created an entity for it, right now might be the time when it's on your mind. This needs to have been done last week for your and your family's protection. Now, the main takeaway here is that these processes are best, but don't necessarily have to be, started before a lawsuit begins. If attempting to deprive a creditor in the last minute after somebody files a lawsuit against you, know that the court will take an interest in your recent transfers. They may see last minute moves as fraudulent conveyances. Now, keep in mind that fraudulent conveyance is generally a civil matter and not a criminal one. We've never had a client go to jail for it. Still, this is why addressing your asset protection today can be crucial to your financial safety. If someone has already served you with a lawsuit or you know one is on the way, you can still institute an asset protection strategy, but know it's better, much better, to do so beforehand. Moving your assets now before any hint of legal trouble can help keep them safe and secured. Specifically, using offshore trusts and other asset protection entities makes it even more difficult for domestic financial predators to encroach on your wealth. The best part is this is perfectly legal. If something is legal and you're better off doing it now than putting it off, it might just be the time to take action. As an example, let's create a little scenario and paint a picture to show you how this is done. 
We'll do this before bogging you down with all the technical aspects of it all. Let's say Jonathan has $930,000 worth of assets. It could include home equity, funds in a savings account, and a paid off Mercedes Benz. What Jonathan needs to do with these personal assets is to put them in the proper legal tools. You can place a home into a land trust and mortgage it to the hilt. We can record a lien against it, then get a third party involved in that lien later if necessary. You can put the Mercedes into a title holding trust and borrow money against it using it as security. The liquid assets, including the proceeds from the two assets mentioned here, are placed into an offshore asset protection trust. Now, Jonathan is smart because he's doing it now before he can even fathom a lawsuit coming his way. He reads the literature and knows the Cook Island Trust, for instance, proves itself effective and consistently protects assets. The challenge is that many people who are not facing imminent lawsuits scratch their heads until they bleed, trying to understand every last detail. We call this paralysis by analysis. That same person gets sued and keeps scratching right through to his or her skull until the lawsuit seizes and freezes their assets. At that point, once their assets are frozen, there's really nothing we can do to protect them. That same person will have a $1,500 TV hanging on their wall, pick up the remote, and turn it on with no idea how the picture got up there. They're not sitting there with a screwdriver opening up the box trying to figure out every circuit before they watch the latest episode of Grey's Anatomy. They simply turn on the TV and sit there and watch without any inkling of a thought of how the signal gets there and all those pixels dance around the screen to entertain them. Then they turn around and risk hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars they work so hard for analyzing asset protection strategies until a savvy pack of lawyers sneak up on them like a herd of lions on a baby gazelle and eat them alive while they sit there dumbfounded. They get trapped by paralysis of analysis. Take action while you still can and rely on experienced experts. We have attorneys on staff who can help right now. Jonathan now has the meat of his asset protection in an offshore trust. Wham! A lawsuit is filed against him. He's a young doctor who's been hit with a challenging malpractice lawsuit that far exceeds his insurance limits. He knows, however, that he has protected his assets and a Cook Islands trust. His local courts do not have jurisdiction over foreign trustees, so taking them from him is hard, if not nearly impossible to do. The most he stands to lose from the lawsuit is what is readily available domestically. Jonathan made the right choice. Consider another point. You have a protection strategy available to you if you're a business owner as well. This is especially the case if you have prudently formed an entity, a corporation or LLC, rather than remaining a sole proprietor. These entities do not protect against professional malpractice, such as a physician removing a wrong kidney, but they can offer protection against employee and contract liability. Back to personal trust. The Cook Islands doesn't even recognize foreign judgments. Say a court is interested in seizing your assets and they make a phone call to the trust company. The most they will get is someone who will turn a deaf ear to them who is not under their jurisdiction. Essentially, what this trustee is saying if they get a call is, sorry, I can't help you. It's my legal obligation to protect my client and their assets. They say, your courts don't have any say-so here. Again, this is perfectly legal. You can expect the trustee to carefully manage your assets only when you get into legal trouble. When that's over, they simply put the ball back into your court. There's a lot of negative information on the internet about hiding assets in domestic or offshore trusts by forming business entities, etc. But creditors post most of that information in order to throw you off course. You are likely to find these financial predators refer to people who take these intelligent actions as scoundrels or deceptive. It's clear what their goal is though. They want you unprotected so they have easy access to your money. Things become much easier to them when they find a defendant with easy to reach domestic assets. Most trial lawyers don't produce, they take. They want a payday, and the best way to get one is by taking from those of us who do produce. That said, it is important to be very skeptical when reading these persuasive, self-serving, and even cruel articles you may find on the internet to try to dissuade you from protecting or hiding your assets in a divorce or other lawsuit. Remember when we discussed that opening trusts and forming protective legal entities before legal trouble is legal? What these creditors who post this dirty laundry all over the web are doing is they're saying, hey, yes, it's legal, but we don't like it. Well, too bad. Act now. 
Consumers are not at the mercy of creditors. That is, unless they allow themselves to be. Therefore, it's extremely important to start the process of setting up an asset protection trust, if appropriate for your situation, right now. Then form the other asset protection entities that best suit your needs. Beat them to the punch. You are outsmarted them and you're doing so legally. Those with the means to sue the little guy will stop at nothing to get your assets to line their pockets with your money. If you have questions about protecting your assets, feel free to call us at 954-400-1050 anytime or visit lawyerslimited.com and fill out our free consultation form. Thanks for watching. This is The Business Guy.